how to add to your game to make it give an illusion that your character maybe has to jump over some obstacles and the background is moving, but it's really an illusion. Your background doesn't move, but you can make objects in your screen move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my game that I already created with the move up, down, left, right, and the scoreboard, which I already showed you how to do in a previous video. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to relocate where my bunny is so that it's on the left part of the screen. And I'm going to add a background. So I'm going to go into world, set background two, and I'm going to put that right near the beginning. And then I am going to um, restrict my bunny from only going up or down. And I'm going to get rid of my left and right. And now this is going to make it so that when I'm moving my character, it stays over on the left-hand side of the screen. And I just want the bunny to go up and down in order to try to get points. And I'm going to keep this scoreboard option available. So I'm going to create this carrot and I'm going to have it start um, down near the bottom of the screen. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this carrot start to move. So I'm going to go into sprites. Maybe it's in behaviors. You guys probably know better than I do. So you're going to grab the sprite begins. I'm going to make sure that it's the carrot. And then I'm going to add a behavior in there. And so I'm going to have the, the carrot move west so that it's going to go across the screen from right to left. So I'm just going to press run here and see what happens. So the carrot is just going to float across. And um, with my arrow keys, I can move my character up and down. So at this point, it looks like there's a carrot. It's going to float across the screen west, and then I can press up and down. And I still have when the bunny touches the carrot, the scoreboard's going to change. So I'm going to reset it. And this time when it runs, I'm going to move the bunny down. And now he runs over the carrot, and I get a score of one. What I can also do is I could do an event that's based on time. So let's just say at three seconds, I can create another sprite. So I'm going to make a new sprite. And maybe he's going to gobble up carrots and apples. So I'll add an apple and I'll place this sprite. You have to press reset in order to see it, I believe. I'm going to place this sprite near the top of the screen. And then in sprites, our behavior, sorry, you're going to take that and make the apple with a behavior also move west. So when I press run here, a carrot starts moving across, and then after three seconds, the apple starts moving across. Now if I also want to score points for the apple, I'm going to have to add another when bunny touches carrot, and I'm going to have to do this whole scoreboard piece. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to copy it and paste it and then just drop this down to be the apple and then I can copy these blocks and place them under here and copy these blocks and also place them under here. So now when I press reset and I run, if I go into the carrot, my score goes up by one. If I go into the apple, my score goes up to two. I'm going to show you another way to streamline your code in functions in our next video, but that should help you with giving the illusion of characters moving across the screen.